Yo, what's up guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, my name is Floppy, and today guys, I'm going to be showing you how to make a GUI open when a part is clicked. Just before the video begins, I would like to announce that I now have my own merch store. We have an amazing selection of products at a very reasonable price. If you did want to go check out some of these products, you can find the link to the store at the top of the description. We are actively adding more products and designs, so if you do want to support us, make sure to go check out the merch store. So for starters, we're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If Explorer and Properties are not enabled, we want to head up to the top bar here, click on View, and enable Explorer and Properties, and they should show somewhere over your screen. So now we want to go and insert a part. This is going to be the part that the player is going to be clicking, and then if they click it, the GUI will open up. So we can kind of leave it how it is, just make sure to anchor it, and then we want to go and rename it to something that we will remember. So we want to go down to the Properties and click on where it says Name and change it from Part to something maybe like floppy part or really something that you would remember or maybe shop part shop part would probably so now that you've renamed your part you now want to go over to your part and click on the plus button and insert a click detector this basically allows it so if a player runs up to the uh, part that they're able to click it but now that we've got the click detector you can go and adjust the thing here where it says max activation distance you can go and adjust that but that basically means how far a player can be from the part until they are able to click it so for example right now we have got it on 32 let's say we are at 40 distance currently we won't be able to click it here but the moment we're in within 32 distance we will be able to click the part but you can go and adjust that so now that you've inserted the click detector into your part we now want to go and make our GUI so we want to head over to start a GUI click on the plus button and insert a screen GUI then inside the screen GUI you want to insert a frame and then you can go and customize this frame to however you would like you can have this as a shop frame you can have this to whatever frame you want for this tutorial we're just going to be leaving our frame blank but you can go and insert text labels text buttons all of that other additional stuff but it's not necessary for us to do that in this tutorial now inside your screen GUI you want to go and click on the plus button and insert a local script you now want to go down to the description of this video copy and paste the code that is in the description and bring it back to Roblox Studio now that you've inserted the code, we want to go and adjust a couple things. So on line one, where it says local button equals game.workspace.yourpartname, you want to go and change your part name to whatever the part is called, which the player is going to be clicking. So as you guys remember, we made our shop part just a little bit earlier at the start of the video, our shop part. So we want to go and put our part name into where it says your part name. So shop part, just like that. Depending if you changed your frame name or not in the screen GUI, you want to go and change whatever your frame name is over here. So now that you've finished adjusting everything, you want to head up here, go click on the X next to your local script to go save it. And then we want to head over to our screen GUI and our frame. And we want to set the visibility of our frame to false. Basically meaning when the player first joins in, they will not see the frame straight away. And the only way for them to see the frame is if they click on this part. So now you want to head up here, go click on play to go test it out. As you guys can see, we are now in the base player. And if we go and hover over our part, you'll be able to see that the cursor icon changes compared to this to there basically allowing us to click onto this part so if we go click on the part as you guys can see the GUI will now pop up and if we go click on the part again the GUI will close if you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing feel free to create a ticket in my discord server or private message me but anyway guys I'm gonna wrap up the video here if you guys did enjoy I'd appreciate if you do consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video I'd really appreciate it but anyway, have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you guys all in the next video.